Oh, hey, how you doing, YouTube? This is Sensei Roger again, and you're watching Shodan1197. Today, this is Kempo for Beginners Lesson 8. So, we're going to talk about a little quick disclaimer. You train the martial arts, you got to be careful. It's a responsibility for yourself how you train. You can hurt yourself, you do it wrong, and let's face it, you're watching this off a of video. There's a lot of ways you can do this wrong, so you got to pay close attention on how you do things. Don't go hitting bags and walls and where and other people and then expect, oh yeah, I heard. you got to be responsible about, what, about how you do this. Alright, we're going to go right into an axe kick. The axe kick is really meant to be for low. So like, say, Paul just took me down to the ground, now he comes by. X kicks me in the body. I'm down like this. He got me in the back. Kempo is notorious for uh, destroying people. So if you take a guy down, this is a powerful kick. You hit with the back of the heel. Now you see guys coming up here and taking it head level. That is not a practical thing. It's fun to do in like tournaments. Like in a fight since you're Paul. This is how I like to do the axe kick in the tournaments. He's got a hand out here like I come up underneath. You don't really see this movement. My hand is up in his face. I'm here, I come around, and I drop the ball of my foot onto his helmet. So now it's a legal target. Now you can also take that heel right in the jaw or in the chest. You know, if you're allowed face contact or anything like that, if it's full contact, you can hit it right across that jaw and knock the guy out, you win. But point fighting, you knock the guy out, you lose. Street, you knock the guy out, you walk away. Right. But I'm not going to lift this leg up and do that from the axe kick. Oh, you're wondering how to do this. They've been waiting for that, haven't they? <laughs> okay, we're going to show on our little Mr. Potato Bag here. You're going to come over here. Come over here, Paul. Well, it's going to start it from like a fight stance even. Pick either leg, I don't care which one you pick. Oh, Go ahead, lift up back. your knee, come around, drop your heel in. When you do this, this is very important that you bend your knee. Especially if you're hitting down low like this, you could hurt your knee. You'll hyperextend it if you don't bend it. But you also get more power. So from here, pick it up, come around, drop it in. Two ways you can throw this axe kick. See how you went from inside his body to outside. Then there's another way where you go from outside to inside. Those are two ways to throw an axe kick. All right, go ahead. Bam. You want to bend that knee. This is the neutral position for kicking. That's where you get a lot of your power from. There's the axe kick. So commonly in Kempo, we use this from a takedown, and then we come in and axe kick. There's different uh, ways we usually follow up in Kempo. One, if we take a guy down, we'll kneel on him and punch him. One is this axe kick, which we just did. Another one would be a wheel stomp. So if you're a Kempo pr uh, practitioner, see, I didn't do enough training on my words today. <laughs> no. <laughs> if you want to know what I'm talking about on that, watch the video on how we warm up for these Kempo for Beginners. Uh, but anyhow, if you're a Kempo practitioner, you will probably see this. Take down, stop, take down, axe kick, take down, knee punch. So those are the three ways you usually see most common follow-ups in the Kempo to the ground. Alright, let's move on. We're going to do a front kick, a side kick, a back kick. This is a fun drill to do. It's not really practical to throw three kicks with, without putting your foot down, but if you do two, that is practical, as we did the front and back before. So we're going to do it from, you can do it from a neutral stance. You can even like, put your hand on a wall or a chair, hold a chair or something. Make sure it's a stable chair. <laughs> you ever grab a chair and lean on it and all of a sudden it falls? Yes. Uh, we don't want to do that. So make sure it's something stable and you're not going to fall down. Alright, so you can also do it from a fight stance. So here we go, the front kick. Knee come up, side, back. Now here's the thing, a lot of people do not bring this knee back here. This has to come right in that position, back to here, and here. 
All right, here we go. Ready? Kick front, side, back. Do it again. Front, side, back. Here's one of the things I've been busting on my students here, even my brown and black belts sometimes. When you're doing like a kick, especially like a front kick or a roundhouse, they just start kicking from here. That knee should come all the way up. Remember the first video, we had that knee come up to like you're stepping on a platform before you kick. And same goes with this. Before you throw the second one. Before you throw the third one. This is a great balance drill. Okay, we've got one more way to do this. Front kick, side kick, back kick, all to the front. So now we got to pivot that foot. Remember how we talked about pivoting the foot with the roundhouse or the wheel kick? Lift the heel up, turn like this. Okay, if you try to kick too high, you lift your heel up too high, and you turn, you're going to fall down. This one. If you haven't done it already. <laughs> so from here, knee up. Go ahead, kick, pivot, kick. Back kick. So you just front, side, back. Let's try the left leg. We ignored that one, didn't we? Watch me fall over. Alright, here we go. Front kick, pivot, side kick, back kick. There it is. The front, side, back kick. Well, now we finally arrived to it. A cross step. We're going to do a cross step several different ways. Today we're going to show you a self defense technique using the cross step behind your leg. So let's start with that one first, and then I'm going to show you a couple different ones. Alright, so from this point here, all this is facing me, he needs to come closer, cross up behind, step out. There's a back fist could be, or watch the kick. Cross up, kick. I mean, so you've got different ways you can do that. idea of this is getting closer, quicker. But also, say Paul throws a punch in my head, I cross up. I'm out of the way. Now is where you can throw a kick. That's not the technique I'm asking you guys to work on. If you pick that up, that's okay. That means you're a superstar student. <laughs> no, but here it is. Across, behind. When you do this, don't turn your back. We want to practice crossing like this. So bending the knee. What do you know, they do in like uh, ballet and dancing? At the end, they do a curtsy, the women. They grab their skirts or whatever, and they just go like this. Well, we're not doing a curtsy, but it's similar to it. Did I say curtsy and karate? Yes. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. We cross up like this. Bending that knee and having the foot resting right here. Not on the full plant. You're turning on the side. So you're more on the pinky toe and the knife edge of your foot. Here's the great thing. You don't have to stand that way for long. I know it feels weird but you're not standing there for long. So let's do that cross, step out. There we go. Go back the other way, cross. Step out. And then there's a wall there. And I'm sure you've seen this in other sports, they practice quick moves, front back, front back. So now, you, since you mentioned that too, the sports, so they're going front back, we did for, uh, behind, let's go forward. So from here, let's go from the back foot, move forward. Step out. Let's go back, step out. Let's go behind this way, step out, let's go forward, step out. There's that drill that, that Paul was talking about. Now that, uh, that drill is in all kinds of sports, basketball, soccer, soccer, I mean you see it all over the place. So if you ever play those sports, this is comfortable to you. Okay, now let's do the front cross step. This is how you can throw a hand even. All right, well now that we already went over a long time on cross steps, let's move on to a self-defense technique. It's called dancer. Someone's choking you from behind like this. So for me, let's turn this angle here for a moment. You see how I'm like this, I'm choking him from behind. He's gonna take this foot, he's gonna cross step, hammer fist. And then he's gonna turn, duck under my arms, ridge hand, and he's stepping out. Now the idea of this, grab a hold of me please, Paul. All right, he's choking me here. I don't want to cross and turn my hips. Remember I said don't turn your hips with it? I want to cross here. What happens if I turn my hips and he catches on and push me down? I'm really way off balance. Okay, now ready? Cross, push me down. It's not as easy, is no, it? No, no. But here it is. That's fast. You know, that's me pulling it back and controlling it. Right. If I went full out 100% and hitting him, there's not really much. Let go. There's not much you can do because where are his hands? 
and you got the element of surprise in the streets. Someone grabs a hold of you, you don't know. Right. I mean, they don't know what you know, I mean, that's what I meant to say. So I grab a hold of you, I don't know what you know. You cross hammer, bam. That could be the end of the story, but it's not. <laughs> grab a hold of you. It's not the end of the story, is it? So from here, grab a hold, full choke. I want you to squeeze here. Everyone, hold on, loose up for a moment. Everyone always, when I ask them, here, just choke me. They go like this with a little dainty grip. <laughs> they lay back here because no one wants to do it. It's never good to hurt the sense. I'm not asking you guys to do this to each other, but when I, you know, demonstrate, so I want them to know, hey, choke me. And then they just go, whoo. And then it was hard for me to talk there, wasn't it? All right, go ahead, squeeze. Now at this point, Okay, now here's the next point here. Let's do it together in the air. So we cross that like this, we throw the hammer first. Now here's that curtsy. Drop down like this as you lean forward a little bit and turn as you're ducking underneath the arms and bridge hand. So you're not stopping underneath the arms. You're getting past the arms. I call it swooping. I swoop underneath and then this is the ridge hand. Remember we did the ridge hand? Now this time you're hitting a soft target right in the crotch. Hit it and bend in your elbow upward. And then, here's the part that's famous for Kempo. Choke me again. Here we go, cross hammer. Ridge hand. I step out. This is what we call covering out. You don't want to just go boom, boom. Oh, hey. <laughs> if you didn't stop them, at least you were getting yourself ready in a farther distance. So now they're trying to chase you. You're out there quick. And that's called dancer. Alright, here we go. One more time. Here, reach in. I'm here. Pretty cool move? I think so. You don't have to respond. I wouldn't hear you anyhow if you did. <laughs> I'm talking to the camera, right? Yes. Alright, anywho, let's go to short one. You guys probably Rush think I'm roll. nuts by now. Alright, a lot of people do not like katas. The big long move. <laughs> they think it was one long move. We're breaking it down in pieces. It's funny how we can remember all these self-defense techniques, but then you put them together in a kata, and then we're like, what? I have a short-term memory. <laughs> <laughs> so but basically, just learn the order, and you'll get it. All right, screw it this way a little bit. OK, well, we did part one and two in the last two belts. So, I mean, the videos, not belts. But the, this video, we're going to do part one through three. And we're almost done. One more part after this. So next video, you can finish this. Lesson nine, you'll finish short one. All right, let's do this here. The bed, hands, feet together, bow. So that's facing 12 o'clock. We step back left foot, and we're black. Step back right foot, and we're black. Look at them show off with that stance deeper than mine. All right, we're going to move the right foot forward. So we're kind of facing right here at 12. We look over here. What is that, nine? Here we go, outward block left. Take your left foot, step back, Paul's going to have to adjust because of the room, so adjust yourself so you don't yeah, step in the wall. Here we go, step back, right out our block. Here's the new part. We're going to take this right foot, we're going to adjust it forward, so we're going to face the back wall here, turn. Now from here, upward block. Step back, left foot, right upward block. And that's part one through three. Uh, Catch me screw up back there. <laughs> I'm going to do it facing over here. So I'm going to start this. I'm going to do it by myself. You can see it done right. Back. That's it. So you can see it done right. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Hands, feet together. Left foot back, right inward block. Right foot back, left inward block. Look over your left shoulder, adjust your right foot. Outward block. Step back left. Outward block. Here's the new part. Adjust right foot here, look forward, upward. Step back left, upward. I'm going to do that again back here in case it, my head cut off on the video because I noticed it got close to the camera. So I apologize if I did that, but I'm going to show it anyhow. Again, I'm going to do it from here. Step. There's short one, part one through three. Okay, so now we're coming to a close here. We had fun uh, doing this video with you guys. So we're going to do like we did in the last few videos. We're going to share a quote. And it's, uh, 
we want you to do something though. You leave a comment. Let me know if you know where this quote comes from. I'm not going to tell you who said it or what book it came from. So I'm going to just give it to you. I want you guys to participate here. All right, here it is. Want to read it or you want me to read it? Yeah, go ahead. I read it last time. All right. You don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great. I'm going to read that again. You don't have to be great to start, but you have to be great. Or you have to start to be great. I almost messed that up, huh? I did mess it up. All right, so basically I want you guys to let me know who said that or what book is that from. Check it out. Expand your knowledge. All right, and also if you didn't subscribe yet, I don't know what you're waiting for. Subscribe. Subscribe. We are uh, currently right now over uh, 7,000 subscribers. The goal is 10,000 subscribers. So uh, for now, that's the goal. Obviously the goal is going to be higher, but that's the closest number. All right. So and that's the goal. And we're actually running up to being almost 300 videos on this channel. I'm excited. So with your guys' help, subscribe. Pass the word along, send in those comments. Let us know you're out there. God bless you.